Right, grunts and shoves. Right, it, it's kind of a joke, but I, I say to girls often, I say, look, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get us to a position where we communicate entirely through grunts and shoves. Now, normally I say that to girls, I've already fucked, but, you know, like, um, there's something very manly about taking control of a girl's body. Right, like on a, in, a, in a sense, like the whole pickup and seduction is gradually exerting control over a girl's body until you're fucking her. You know, when Eddie's talking about like pimping the girls, a lot of that is about taking a psychological and physical control over the girl after you fucked her. Right, there's a, just as I said, on a meta level, male-female interaction is about the male pumping the woman full of energy and her absorbing it. Um, a lot of the process of seduction is about taking control over the girl's body. So you can start this early. Again, I'll, I'll not get too far into the escalation side or the physical side. These are just a couple of things just to add on to your normal street game. So I'd say get in the habit of non-verbal direction. You know, so um, like we'll, we'll, call, we'll, have a, we'll call the mini bounce, right? You stop a girl in the middle of the street. Once you know you've got hook point, you say, oh, come on, let, let, like, we're in the middle of the street, let's just walk over there. And you move her like three metres towards the edge of the pavement, right? That's moving her. That's taking control of her body. You know, it's a compliance test. It's also an expression of physical dominance and masculinity. Um, like, uh, the eye date's the same thing. You're right, look, like, why we're standing in the middle of the street talking? There's a cafe over there. Come on, let's go, right? That's moving her. Now, um, I like to actually touch her, so... I've got drills here, but I'll do things, hang on, I'll put the mic down for this. Right then, so, I'll be talking to a girl and I'll be like, let, let's say, she's, she's saying like, oh, like, what, what have you been doing today? I'll say, oh, I was, I was, you could say to a girl, oh, I was over in uh, Shevchenko Park by the university earlier, right? That's one way to do it. But if you want to touch her and be like masculine about it, you can say, oh yeah, I was like over Shevchenko Park, you know, like, like over there, yeah? Like, turn her a little bit towards that, yeah? Just a little bit of a touch there. Or you'll be like, um, let's see. So I, I like turning girls, well, when I'm talking to them in the street, I'll be like, oh, look, man, like, come here, like, oh, come here. You know, I, I like moving them. Um, I'm what I call the Russian arm drag, which is actually a wrestling move. Um, how, how do I describe that? Uh, can I borrow one yeah. one guy? We're going to edit this. I mean, are you okay to be on a video though? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. This will be really quiet. Right, this is the Russian arm drag. Right, you take the wrist like that and you pull them around like this. Right, that's it. So, so what you're doing? What did that achieve? Is pulling. Yeah, well, it's a wrestling move to get behind somebody, right? Ah. Right, because that, that's what wrestlers are often trying to do to take the back. Or you can do a Russian arm drag that way. So what it is is you pull here and you bring this in, all right? Sorry, you can sit back down, thanks. Right, now I do this on girls all the fucking time, normally on a, normally on a date or after I've fucked them. How do you calibrate that, you know, so it doesn't seem like you're just contracting somebody? Well, it's, it's when you do it. No, no, I don't normally do it on the streets. I normally do it after I've kissed a girl, you know? After I've kissed a girl on a date, I'll often do that, you know? It's like, she's, you know, we're sitting in a bar, we're made out, I know she fucking fancies me. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Take her back and then I'm like, tick her and stuff, you know? Um, but the reason I pointed out is it's just an example of moving a girl's body around. And like in the bedroom, I'm a lot more likely to do this, more dominant, you know? Um, right, and then stomach one. Oh, here's one I often do if I'm doing an eye date or on a day two. We're walking and she's next to me and then we, we get to some lights, you know, where there's traffic. I'll be all stop, stop, stop. And I put my hand on her stomach, stop, stop, stop. Like that. You know, like... You can obviously just say to the girl, you know, you can obviously just wait for the green man, right? You stop at the red, you wait for the green. But if you want to be a bit more dominant, a bit more physical, a bit more belligerent, you're like, oh, stop, 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 right? Then the green man comes on, you're like, then it's like, on the, right, come on. Yeah? It's just little touches you're dropping in. That's a lot different to the arm drag, obviously. Right? Uh, other ones, again, it depends on how belligerent you are and how compliant she is. But if she's really fizzy and you, you might be walking, holding hands, right? Say on a date or, you know, let's say it's a really good eye date. So what I'll often do is, um, let's say we're walking this way, but we're, we're going to go this way. Right? You can point, uh, come on, like this way, yeah? Right? Or you like, you want to go that way? You point across, like, come on, this way, right? It's a bit more dominant. But what I'll often do is I'll just walk and then I'll just like yank her hands and she's like, like this. And then normally giggles, right? It's like well calibrated, it's very dominant. 
another one is shoulder barging. When I'm like walking, let's say we're not holding hands, it's normally earlier on before that's kind of agreed. Um, so it might be on the eye date, you know, like an hour into the eye date, you're walking through the park, and you just like nudge her like that, you know? And she's like, what are you doing? I said, sorry, that was an accident, I won't do it again. And then you're like, bam, <laughs> and do it again, right? right? It's just like fucking with a girl physically. Now this is not escalation. This is not about getting you to the next level of intimacy. This is about asserting a belligerent masculine frame. But I love doing that little fucking nudge on girls. You know, like, let's say you're walking down the street and there's like a lamppost or a bollard, right? And we should, we'll start walking past that, I'll start leaning into it to push her into it. She's like, oh, what are you doing, you idiot, you know? But it's like physical communication. It's like belligerent masculine communication. So you can add these in, and so you can add the light ones in early in the set, you can add the stronger ones in as you're like more certain of the bedroom. Uh, and another one of that would be when she arrives on a day two, is the principle generally in escalate, well, for me it's always she comes to you, you never go to her, right? So if you're sitting opposite on a table on a date, you don't go sit next to her, you bring her around to sit next to you, right? And the same principle when you go to like kiss her, you don't come in on her to kiss her, you pull her into you. So this is reflected at the beginning of the date as well. So let's say I'm waiting outside Topshop like this for a girl, and I see her like 10 metres away. I'm like, oh yeah, here. Let her come. Now I might come a few steps, but I'm not, oh, all right, okay, let, let me, let, I'm, I'm an obedient puppy, let me go, right? Like she comes to you. So this is all about um, masculine polarities, you're the rock. 